a wonderful soul that is seems to be slipping away from us, a Bishop Carlton Pearson. Yes. What, what, if any, has he made an impact on how you uh, navigate through this Christendom? What are your thoughts on Bishop Carlton? Carlton Pearson? I really don't even like to even think about it because it makes me very, very, very emotional. Mm -hmm. Bishop Carlton Pearson, if you grew up as a church baby, he, he, for many of us, he was one of our heroes. And for me, he was a hero just seeing, I mean, everybody, Beverly Crawford, T.D. Jakes, Juanita Bynum. Right. I mean, everybody, Jackie McCullough, to see everybody be platformed yeah. um, on he his put them all on. Literally. He did. <laughs> Um, and even, you know, when he, you know, transitioned to the gospel of inclusion and different things like that, of right. course, when that first happened, I was way younger. So I really didn't understand what was happening there. You know, yeah. we just Me demonized too. them and just went on. Yeah. Um, but as I um, became older and, and just a lover of knowledge, I began to read and I'm like, whoa, Carson Pearson was actually on to something yeah. here. Yeah. Um, but of course, as a pioneer before his time, and people just didn't know how to take it. Hell yeah. is more of a consciousness, you know? It is. So it it is. people they didn't know how to take that. You know, mm -hmm. you're coming from um, you know, traditional holiness of hell, and you know, that so to go to that extreme. You know, we didn't know how to take it, but mm -hmm. Carlton Pearson, um, I met him for the very first time. As a matter of fact, the very first time I met Bishop Pearson, and people don't know this, but the very first time I met him, um, I was serving food, right? Prophet mm -hmm. Genesis Moore, I was serving his food. Um, I am a servant at heart. I love in Memphis. People. No, um, oh. at Prophet Karn's very first convocation. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yes. And so uh, some of the ladies in the kitchen, they needed help. And I put on an apron. I was like, that was like, yeah, that yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So I mm -hmm. went in the kitchen and I, I fixed his plate. And when I, you know, came out and I served his food and, you know, Prophet Karn was like, that's, that's Prophet Genesis Warren. Do you know her? And he, you know, said he had heard of me X, Y, and Z. But right. it was just an honor to mm -hmm. serve him food. He was such a kind man. He was kind to me before he even knew that I was right. anybody just kind. Yeah. Um, I never forget. He wrote me on Instagram and I'll probably, um, I'll probably uh, print it out. And because it, it was just so kind, he wrote me on Instagram. Uh, it's not loading. It would be great to, um, see some things that he's written people and some sentimental that that that's that's all awesome. yes he said my son sam told me so much about you and i can't wait to see you soon i thought that was so kind of he followed wow. me on instagram wow. and i thought that was so kind of him um to see where he is now it's it's sad but it's also beautiful yeah you it's, know I, I i tried to be sad i did he, Mm -hmm. But something and something that Larry said yesterday about not there's no thing as such thing as death. There's no mm -hmm. dying and cry. You know, it's this transitioning mm -hmm. to that, that another another place. And it, it and not so deep with it. It's just how you transitioning into being that watch care mm -hmm. over you know the rest of us here. Um so it gives you some kind of hope of it's not it's not as sad as it really is. Yeah, even, you know, of course, we become attached to flesh. We all yeah, do. Yeah, um, yeah. But it's so beautiful because he's done everything that he was yeah. supposed to do in the earth. Yeah. He's made not only one mark. I mean, he's made several marks in the earth. Um, The world had a chance. Of course, he was, he's been our hero. But because yeah. of the Netflix movie, the world now has a yeah. chance to see who Bishop Carlton Pearson was. I mean, he has literally fulfilled his assignment in the earth. And and for him to, you know, still be living here, he can read the comments and different things like yes. that just to hear how much he's impacted before he transitions. I just think it's 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 sad because we always want him to be here, but yeah. it's also beautiful because we're seeing the ending of an era. And I'm glad that before he closes his eyes for good, 
that he'll be sure that the reason that he was born was fulfilled. And the interesting part I thought about the other day, you know, um, all the denominations kind of came out of Azusa Street in Los Angeles. You know, mm -hmm. we had Mason who was there. You had Bishop Paddock and some other people from the Pentecostal and you had the UPCs. They were all there and getting that first Holy Ghost type of experience. And mm -hmm. then Carlton turns around and creates this whole Azusa conference where mm -hmm. he's actually blending the whites, the Hispanics, the blacks, and you know, everybody mixed together. So it's like this man, even at that point was well beyond his time. You know what? That is so powerful because and it scared me. The Lord told me that part of my assignment would be likened unto Carson Pearson. Of course, mm. he had the blacks and the whites. And the Lord told me that I'll have the gays, the trans, the all of that, mm. the straight, the okay. whoever, all the alphabets in one. All the alphabets. <laughs> and no one feels less than wow. because th they are their sexual identity or their right. gender preference is not the same. Again, God is love. And if we yeah. are not able to reach people where they are, we have failed at the Great Commission. Yeah. And so I've been watching so many of Carson Pearson's uh, uh, YouTube mm -hmm. just so because I'm like, you know what? I got to get all of this. Yeah. And also it comes with persecution as well. So. Yeah, because I'm sure that you have, how, how did the pastors in Atlanta and around treat you as a, a pastor? First of all, you're a woman, you're a prophetess, you you know, and, and then you, you have a church where you're welcoming to everybody. Like, like I, like I say, every dog on church is an inclusive church because the gays and everybody else been running the church for years. For but years. it's just a matter of what they want you to do. They still on the Bill Clinton, don't ask, don't tell. But right. how does 